So this is John A. Greeting Circle, and we are in the what? Is, what is it called? Glencairn Gardens. Glencairn Gardens, right in front of the bigger house. I know. I saw that. I was like, well, where's the small? Hey, wait, where's the small house though? If this is the bigger house, where's the smaller house? Let's go over here real quick. Wow. Does this look familiar? Yes, because I filmed here. I mean, I shot, I shot here. Oh, wow. I wonder if it's those storms that caused that tree. No, it's the storms that caused the tree. That's why I was trying to get over there because you can't, there's something over here. So this is pretty much like a park. Oh, you can tell springs in the air. You love it's February. <laughs> yeah, we we're just looking at that. We we're like going around and it's like it's warmer here. Where we live, it's like in the seventies as well. Oh, is it? I like this little spiral here. Wow, look at all that over there. Gordon's taking a picture. Oh, this place is huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Is that part of it too, that way? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is what we're seeing so far. But apparently, there's a whole lot more to see. And over there is another circle. Which way we go? Well, whatever you, way you want to go. Wow. I can see why you took pictures here. Well, it's my client's choice. Oh, really? It is. It's huge. When we went here, there was like so many different people getting their photos done. There's a torn down tree. That's what's called Glencairn. Glencairn? Okay, so when they say gardens, so this is different from than a park? Gardens. Nature. This place is a lot bigger than I thought though. There's just so much beauty, I'm trying to take it all in. I'm trying to get it on the lens.
Wow, this is bright. Is it dry? No, it's cold. It's not that cold. Here, let me see. Oh, it is cold. <laughs> Shut up. Come see me back in the fountain. This is a unique find. All storybook tales. Go ahead, you're the reader. Although best known as the creator of Glenn the Frog, mascot of Rock Hill's Come See Me Festival, Vernon Grant forever broadened the appeal of commercial art long before moving to his wife Liv's hometown in 1947. His most famous creations are Snap, Crackle, Pop, oh, for Kellogg's, but he also created other famous advertising icons for numerous national clients. Over several decades, this Nebraska farm boy prolific illustrations of Santa Claus, nursery around characters, whimsical gnomes, and humorous caricatures graced at least 228 covers of national magazines, 14 children books, countless greeting cards, and hundreds of advertisements. Grant's distinctive look, distinctive style, influenced many, including Walt Disney, and led to his induction into the prestigious Society of Illustrators. Locally, he was a benefactor of charities, civic groups, and schools, freely, freely donating his time and talent. His works, both original and road productions, are highly prized by collectors. And here are the works. Hmm. And there's a shot of the torn down tree. <laughs> How far does this go? Up here in the Oh wow. I think this though actually was I don't remember seeing this part. So you're saying you think this is new? Yeah. Or it might have been closed off. Oh, wait, what's, I want to see what this way is. There's nothing. Well, no. Oh, that is so cool. Ugh. I can't get into that bridge, but. Rock Hill is like a gem and a half. I think it just connects to the uh, trail though. Probably. 
I just want to see what's up here. Okay, I see your point. Huh. Looks like the water's dried up though. No, they drained it. Oh. So that's why. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, you keep leading the way. I want to see where this leads to. Uh -huh. I was like, I'll give you credit on one thing. As much as sometimes it takes a long time to get to some of your... This wasn't long at all. No, it wasn't. Not this one. But some of the places you've wanted to go before have. But it's always worth it in the end. And yet you always complain the whole way. Well, when it's hard to get to. You have to do a little bit of walking. No, but I mean like... I guess that's uh, where the little house is. Oh, the little house. We found the little house. You think? <laughs> and I apologize ahead of time about the crappy uh, video work. We don't have the stabilizer, but we don't have uh, I don't know. It's actually hard to uh, get. This place is huge. Did you know about this like earlier? Like this area? Yeah, we just didn't do go over there. So it's a lot more bigger than than you thought. Yeah, I forgot it's big. I got. We gotta see what that place is over there. So because this video is getting long, we're going to break this into two parts. No. So, no, because it's getting long. So? 